Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So I've just been sent this Boudoir Noir by Colourpop and I thought we could do some swatches on it. So yeah, let's go over to the vanity and do it now. Okay, so here is the beautiful palette in all its glory. So yeah, it's the Colourpop Boudoir Noir. Beautiful packaging. This is the second palette of the 12 pan eyeshadows that I've got. The other one was the... The second one is the Wild For Nothing palette, so this is what it looks like. Let's take that out a second. That is just absolutely beautiful, is it not? Um, so yeah, we're going to do some swatches. So I'm going to start here and work my way up. So we're going to go in with the shade first, Deja Vu. It might not show up on my pasty AF arms but that's what it looks like it's got a yellow undertone so it might show up just slightly there we go um and then the next thing is good night which is this one here so that's a nice shimmer almost feels like a super shock shimmer that's that one there oh that's nice yeah that's really nice then we've got body language which is i would say that's a top shade um so that again looks like it could be a super sharp let me just get a wipe um yeah body language yeah that's nice yeah it's it's a top shade then the next one is a really good transition shade for me it's called melt oh yes um then we've got like a mustard um i guess that for me would make a really good out of e shade it's desire that's the name of it so that's what that one looks like these mattes are really, really pigmented. In all of the palettes that I've tried from Colourpops, I've re in all of the palettes that I've tried from Colourpop, I've really liked the mattes. Right, so now bedtime story. Now, not many people like these glitters. Um, oh gosh, though, look at it. put a bit more on that is stunning even if you don't like glitters that's stunning when i'm using these palettes i do tend to i do tend to use the glitter um right the next shade is, is the next shade is this gorgeous gold um called sleeping look at that guys OMG reminds me a little bit of Kathleen Lights do you know the single super shock she did um, a little bit not it's not a dupe or anything and then we've got late text loving the names of these eyeshadows as well so this is like a really nice khaki grungy green um so there's no sequins here and there's no shades like this in either. Let me just get it. The ones that I really don't like. And I've been saying that in so many videos so you'll know which one it is. Um, Wild Nothing has a couple in. Um, so this is a shade from the Child Palette in Precious Cargo. Um, I just don't like the way they feel. I don't like the way they apply. Um, so that's that. Right so we're going to go on to the bottom row actually it does have a sequin um which we'll get to that in a second i didn't see it because when it's just led flat it doesn't look like it's a sequin so silk shades this palette is stunning that's them um and then the sequin shade is called vibing which is really really pretty just a dark brown with glitters in it um let's take that off and then the next shade is called nap which is a shimmer really really pretty 
look at it it's like a really nice bronze shimmer and the last shade is called hot teddy and that's a matte right so i cannot wait to use this palette guys um so that's all the mattes and shimmers so you get in one two three four shimmers one two three four five six mattes and a sequin shade and a press glitter um so yeah that's what it looks like again in all its glory how how pretty is it though guys let me know if you've got this palette and if you have um i would love to know what you actually think of it um like me on first impressions i'm actually in love with it I'm in love with the packaging as well i like this one better than i like the wild nothing one just because it's got a couple of those eyeshadows in it that i didn't really much care for and this one doesn't so yeah i'm really really impressed with it i can't wait to use it i think i'm going to be spoiled for choice when i next do my shot my stash palette rotation um but yeah for now this is going away in my color pop collection i've just ordered quite a oh look i've dirtied it right so this is going to be really really tricky to get off this happens to me every single time i'd rather it be the back of the palette than the front i guess it's actually coming off phew um so yeah um really really happy with this palette really really happy with the color story um cannot wait to use it so guys for now it's going away but you'll probably see it in the next shot my stash like i said i've just ordered quite a few more color pop palettes i'm going to be really spoiled for choice probably by the end of the month i don't know when i'm going to be pulling more palettes out i've got a lot to get through um and it all depends on how this vaccination is going to go as well i've just had my vaccination today and i don't know like my arm at the moment feels really really heavy and really sore if it's just down to a few aches and pains i can still continue to film but if it's not um then i'll need to rest up for a few days um so i won't be filming but i have got loads of videos for you guys to check out so you don't need to worry about that um but for now guys this concludes the video this is the lovely lovely palette thank you for watching it means so so much to me let me know if you've got this palette and what your thoughts are on it Please like, it really does help out the channel. Share and comment and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.